All right, folks, so today what we're going to do is we're going to update the firmware on this, the Yaesu FTX1-F. I think I said that name right. Anyhow, I've had this for a few weeks and I haven't updated the firmware yet, so I figured it's time to do just that. In order to do that, we're going to have to use one of these. And what I have here is a SanDisk Ultra 32 gigabyte card. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the instructions for using this particular card. And right here it says using the micro SD card and it says Yesu has tested with the two gigabyte micro SD card and four and eight and 16 and 32. And I just happen to have a 32 laying around. So that's what I'm going to use. Please format, initialize the micro SD card used for the first time on this unit with this transceiver. We have to do that because we've never put a SD card into this particular radio. So down here are the instructions for formatting an SD card. I'm not going to read through that. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to format. So let's get started there. From first concept to final project, PCBWay.com is built to support your vision. Enjoy industry-leading PCB manufacturing and assembly. Trusted by makers, students, and engineers around the world. PCBWay.com offers quick delivery, reliable quality, and real-world value no matter what the size of your project is. Whether you're creating something new or improving what you've built before, PCBWay.com is your dependable partner. Build better. Visit PCBWay.com today. I'm going to turn this off in order to put the SD card in. And there we go. Now I'm going to flip this baby on its side and then here is the slot or the spot where the SD card goes. Now, I'm a big dummy, so I don't know what the orientation is. And I really can't see what I'm doing, but let's just see if that fits. And it feels like I'm getting a little pushback, so let's flip this around. All right, we wrangled it in. And I pushed it till it clicked. Now I'm going to set this thing down. We're going to go back to our nice view here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this thing back on. And there we go. All right. So I believe what it said to do is press and hold the function knob. When that function knob comes on, I already have extension setting uh, on my screen. That's what I want. But if I adjust this, you can see that it goes back and forth between various screens. And we want to be on page three of three for extension setting. Now, I could just use the touch screen, but what I'm doing is I'm using the function knob to move around. So under extension setting, <clears throat> we have a bunch of stuff. And let's take a quick look and see what our software version is. So here we can see the different versions of software that are installed on this particular device and they are out of date and need to be updated. Let's go back to SD card and it says to go to format and click done. Now you might have to scroll with this scroll bar here in order to get to format depending upon what you were last looking at. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click done and it's going to say format SD card. I'm going to hit OK. And it's pretty simple. There we go. So now it's formatting. What I'm going to do, need to do next is I'm going to have to connect this SD card to my computer so I can copy the firmware files to it once it's formatted. I'm going to use this gizmo here in order to copy the files from the computer to the SD card. I just slide the SD card in here and then I just uh, very carefully plug this end into the computer. And here we have format is complete. I don't know what I do. Maybe I touch the screen. And then I'll come down here and I hit back. And I guess I'll come over here and I'll hit back. Now we're back at a regular screen. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so what we have here are two different windows. The top window is where I downloaded the zip files and extracted them. If you don't know how to download a zip file and extract it, then you probably shouldn't do this update. Anyhow, I have a folder here. It says USA firmware update. I'm going to double click on that and then I can see all of my SF file, F, SFL files, which are my update files. Notice this is on local disk, Yesu FTX1, which is the folder that I created. And now we're inside the folder with the files. On the bottom here, we have USB drive E, and that is the SD card that we formatted in the radio. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to double click on this FTX1 folder and I can see some other folders and what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to highlight click my shift key and down arrow and that gets everything and there's a couple ways to do this but this is the way I'm doing it now I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick copy I'm going to come down here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick paste and what that does is move all those files from my computer 
to the SD card. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the SD card back in the radio and we're going to boot the radio back up. Okay, I just want to take a quick second. When you look at this document and it tells you how to update the firmware, don't skip this important section in pink. I think that's pink. Anyhow, it says if the current main firmware is version B0100, proceed to step four, which is right here. If the current main firmware is different than V01.00, proceed to step 11. Mine was different. We saw that in the video. So I'm going to come down here to step 11. And this is where I'm going to continue. All right, folks, and we're back. Let me get this situated here. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the radio on. My SD card has been inserted. And the radio is booting up. Come on, come on. There we are. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press and hold the function button. And then once that happens, I want to come back down to extension setting once again. We're going to hit that. I'm going to click on SD card. And we got firmware update. I'm going to hit the word done. And right now it's checking for my files and it sees all my files right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check all these bad boys. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit update. And I guess it's asking me and saying caution. So let's just do it. Do not turn off the power. And you want to make sure your battery's off, but you're powered up via an external power supply. So we did that. I'm going to speed this up. Man, that took forever. I never thought it was going to end. So what happens now is the radio powers off and then it reboots, but it still needs to be reset. So what we want to do is we want to turn this thing off. And then we want to press these two buttons, find fast and back. So I'm pressing these two buttons and I'm going to power up. There we go. That was a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. And what you can do is you can tell that it took effect because this is going to be on 14, 144 and this one's going to be on 7 megahertz. Let me see if I can fix this and zoom it in a little bit better. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to go hit function. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let me just press and hold function. And then I'm going to use my function knob to go all the way up to page 3. And I have to adjust the brightness on this thing in order to get it to be a little crisper of a setting. Oh, extension setting. Hit that, and we want to go to soft version. And you can see that our software has been updated. Anyhow, that's it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thank you for watching.